Good girl. Or, woo, good girl. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July. Merry, not Merry Christmas, Um, happy December 1st. So excited, last year, this is kind of what got me into my groove of editing videos daily, which I already do for homebodies, but this was so much fun and I'm really excited to do another Vlogmas this year. What I will be doing is uploading a video every single day until Christmas. You guys sent me some really fun ideas and I really hope that Nate is down to do some of these things with me because it'll just make it so much more entertaining and fun. Today I wanted to focus on Aura a little bit. Uh, I have a few updates for you guys that I want to share. Um, I've been working on a few things with her and she's improved a lot um, with me. And the whole Nate thing will come later as you guys may have seen in this video on ours update um, Mark from Easy Day Canine is taking her for six to eight weeks on a special program which Nate and I are super excited about we really think that it's going to help her and um, Mark is going to take that on so before that I want to show you all the things that I've been working on and where she's at at this very moment so we have ours crate in the kitchen in this corner because um, the living room right now has a big giant Christmas tree, so she's fine. She loves her crate and as long as she's in it, she feels really safe. So um, what we work on here is when I open the crate, she doesn't come out. She knows that I need to say the command word before that. She goes down. Break. Worry. We'll be right back, okay? We'll be right back. Don't you worry. Oh, you're not coming, honey. Oh, we'll skate you later, okay? Okay, good girl. So before we open the door, she gets into a sit, and then I open the door. She doesn't dart out. She waits until I say, okay, and then she goes. Simba cracks me up. <laughs> okay, Manara. So what we've been working on here is every time we are on a walk, we do 27 sits. She's in a perfect heel. So during the walk, I will stay still and she automatically goes into a sit and she looks at me. That is when we can go, as soon as she looks at me. Ara, look at me, look at me, good girl. So that is so good because we wanna work on the engagement and um, basically she needs to look up, at, look up at me like I am the leader and that is what, um, Mark has me working on now so every time we come to a stand she goes into a sit and if she doesn't do it automatically I'll do a little tug sit ah. and wait till she looks at me all right look at me it's really bright good girl okay so this is really good practice we've been doing it every single day two times a day on these structured walks and then the other walks we can just do whatever skate she could go at whatever pace she wants, but this one is more for her training purposes. Look at me. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> She's really smart. She picks up on things fairly quickly, and um, it's been good. This has been really good. Good girl. The other day, something happened where I had to rush out of the house and I didn't have time to put Ara back in her crate, which is something that shouldn't have happened um, because right now we need to kind of control her triggers and she was alone in the house and so was around with Nate and she was in the laundry room drinking water where she's the most vulnerable because her back is towards um, the open. Nate comes and didn't know she was in there. She like literally shocked, turned around, bit him, and then skitter scattered out of the laundry room. And ever since then, that happened last week, ever since then, she's back to being very sensitive with him and just growling. And that she might even choose Nate over you right now, who knows? Right? Yeah, that's what I'm like, I would choose Nate over a stranger. Yeah. Nate's like, I don't know that way. Yeah, honestly, sometimes, man, like in the evenings, she'll like warm up and she'll come near me and stuff, and then the next morning, it's like she's forgotten who I am. 
and it starts over every day. We took a good like 10 steps forward and then all of a sudden now we're back, back to square one a little bit. She is totally fine, this is crazy. She eats on top of Nate's leg, so her body is touching the side of him and she's comfortable enough to take food out of my hand on top of him. So that's something we're working on and then Mark told me today to the second feeding should be while Nate is up and about moving around because the movement is what scares her. The movement? Right, so totally. She's like, move, she's like, well, what are you here? Yep, yep. So we also got her this cot so that she can lay on it as her place while she is not in her crate. Come on. So this just teaches her boundaries. And I'm still learning how to use it properly, but Mark suggested we get one. Lay down. Lay down. Uh-uh. Come on. Come on. He's so big for it. <laughs> Oh, okay. You like that? You look cozy. Hi, Junesy Bird. Hi, Junesy. <laughs> 